Let's take a look then at the highlights of an extraordinary sixth round of the championship. It was the TF Sport car that started on pole position, and it was Charlie Eastwood who took over the first dip for the battle between he and uh, the Enrique Chavez. Uh, McLaren in the first part of the race was very entertaining. Chavez went through it the first quarter, but ran wide into the runoff area in the process. He would later be ordered to give that position back. There was some contact there between the JP Motorsport Mercedes and the number 17 Ferrari, which allowed Joe Osborne up the inside, but he got a big squeeze uh, by the 88 of Christian Clear and had to back out of the move. There was contact made as Alexei Nesov muscled his way up the order ahead of Marcello Han in the McLaren and the soft would find himself in the AM-class lead before much longer. The battle out in front was very tight indeed. Eastwood would not let Enrique Chavez through without a fight. The McLaren trying every which way to find a way through. It did eventually go ahead and pulled clear by about seven seconds or so before the pit stops began. After the pit stops, it was the Pro-Am battle that was providing all of the entertainment, and eventually it went wrong with Ollie Milroy and Sam Dahan making contact. Milroy spun with damage suspension, and then at the very next corner, Dahan was tagged into a spin by Fran Rueda, that incident being investigated after the race. The safety car was called for, we had a one-lap restart, and immediately, Louis Prett went on the attack, on the inside of Patrick Grabinski for second place, and worked his way through into second with less than a lap to go. That didn't leave him, though, with enough time to close in on the race leader, so it was Sally Yollock that brought it home for TF Sports' second victory of the year. Louis Pratt second, and Patrick Krapinski brought the JP Motorsport car back for its second podium finish of the year in third place.